Hello everybody, today we will be solving problem 9 of the 2021 Amy 1. The problem reads, let A, B, C, D be an isosceles trapezoid with A, D equals to B, C and let A, B be less than C, D. Suppose that the distances from A to the lines B, C, C, D and B, D are 15, 18 and 10 respectively. Let K be the area of A, B, C, D. Find the square root of 2 times K. Okay, so um, before I go into this problem, you see that we have this diagram here. I'm going to write down a fact that doesn't seem to have anything to do with the problem, the diagram at the moment, and that is cosine of 180 minus theta is equal to negative cosine theta for all angles theta. And at this point, you can kind of guess how we're going to solve this problem. We're going to use um, trig bash. Um, and it's actually not that much of a bash because most of it is going to be similar triangles. And what do I mean by similar triangles? I mean, okay, take a look at this angle theta. Well, we don't, let's not call it theta. Let's call this angle alpha. And since this, ang that, this angle is an isosceles trap, this, this is an isosceles trapezoid, this angle is also alpha. And since AB is parallel to CD, this angle is also alpha, right? And then sine of alpha is going to be, well, it's going to be opposite over a hypotenuse. So in this triangle, we get that sine of alpha is 15 over AB. From this triangle, we get that sine of alpha is this height, which is 18 over AD. So 15 over AB is 18 over AD. And we get from this that 15 over 18, which is five over eight, five over six is AB over AD, right? And note that AD is equal to BC. Okay, so um, now I am going to take another angle I'm going to take this angle over here. Let's call that angle beta. Right, but since AB is parallel to CD, then this angle is also beta. So now I can, um, first of all, drop this altitude. Before we do anything, you can notice that this, this is going to be equal to that length. And this length in between them is going to be equal to AB. We will come back to that fact at the very, very end. OK, um, and also notice that this height's also 18. Now, sine of beta, all right, sine of beta equals from this triangle over here, it's 10 over AB. And from this triangle over here, this big one, it's going to be 18 over BD. So you're going to have you're going to have 10 over 18, which is 5 over 9 equals a b over BD. And look what we've done here. We've got the ratio of a b to 80 is five to six. We've got the ratio of AB to BD is five to nine. Okay, and what this means is that we can label AB as five X, AD is six X, and BD is nine X. And now we're gonna take a look at this triangle ABD, which I'm currently highlighting in pink. And then we're gonna try to find this angle. Sorry, excuse me. We're gonna to try to find this angle over here. And the way we do that is using the law of cosines. So if we call this angle gamma, we are gonna get that. Well, by law of cosines, nine X squared equals five X squared plus six X squared minus two times five X times six X times cosine of 
gamma. And we can rearrange it something like this. We can we get um, 81x squared is 25x squared plus 36x squared minus 60x squared cosine gamma. Rearranging gives 60x squared cosine gamma is 20x squared. Shall I say negative 20x squared? And cosine of gamma is negative one over three. Notice that gamma and alpha sum up to 180 degrees because this is an isosceles tra trapezoid, right? So cosine of gamma is actually equal to cosine of 180 minus alpha equals to negative one over three. And take a look back here, cosine of 180 minus theta equals negative cosine theta for any angle theta, which means that cosine alpha is positive one third. Right? And since cosine squared of alpha plus sine squared of alpha is one um, by the Pythagorean identity, and since alpha is actually an acute angle, we get sine of alpha, sine of alpha is square root of one minus one third squared, which is two root two over three. Now look, look what we can do. Um, look back at this triangle over here. We got, we had sine of alpha was 15 over AB, right? Um, and I am going to clear out some space um, over here. I'm going to clear out this and this and that. Um, maybe leave cosine. Oh, this one third there. Okay. Now take a look at this. Triangle. We already stated that 15 over AB was sine of alpha. Now we know what sine of alpha is. Um, and that is 2 root 2 over 3. Which means that if we solve for AB, we get AB is um, 45 root 2 over 4. And what's more is that, um, well, actually we can do, now what we can do is tangent of alpha is sine of alpha over cosine of alpha equals two root two over three over one third, which is two root two. But taking a look at this triangle over here, we see that um, tangent of alpha is opposite over adjacent. Remember, so Katoa. So this would be equal to, well, if we call this point Z, this is going to be equal to 18 over ZC. So ZC is 9 root 2 over 2. And remember, we specified earlier that this length is going to be equal to this length because this trapezoid is an isosceles trapezoid. So we can use that property of isosceles trapezoid, and we get that this length is 9 root 2 over 2. And since this is a rectangle over here, we got this length is equal to AB, which is 45 root 2 over 4. Finally, we can calculate the area of our trapezoid, which is half the sum of the bases times height. And we know the height's 18, and we can find the sum of the bases, which is 1 half of 45 root 2 over 4 
plus the other base is 45 root 2 over 4 plus 2 times 9 root 2 over 2. And then the height is 18. Um, so we can write this as, um, well, it is 9, eight, that's 18 over 2 times, and we can also factor out a root 2 times 45 over 4 plus 45 over 4 plus 9. So that's 45 over 2 plus 9, which is 63 over 2. And this is going to be equal to our k, the area of our trapezoid. So square root of 2 times k equals 9 root 2 times 63 over 2 times square root of 2, which the square root of 2s cancel out with this 2, and we're left with 63 times 9, which is 567, which is our desired answer. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.